Hey, this is Mike from Run Testers, and in this video, we're going to be giving you our full review of this the Deodora Gara Carbon. Deodora's debut carbon racing shoe, and possibly one of the most surprising carbon shoes we have tested this year. So here's the lowdown on the Deodora Gara Carbon. The Deodora Gara Carbon costs £250 in the UK or $300 in the US. That's pricier than the Nike Vaporfly 3, Asics Metaspeed Sky and Edge Paris, the Adidas Adi Zero, Adios Pro 3 and the Socony Endorphin Pro 4. It weighs in at 213 grams in a UK size 8 and has a 5mm drop with stack heights of 39mm at the heel and 34mm at the forefoot. So that gives it similar stats and profile to the Asics Metaspeed Sky and Edge Paris racing shoes. The upper is a mesh one with ridge laces and carbon yarns to give it that light racing profile, while the midsole features a super critical P-Bax foam and a curved carbon plate to help give it that bounce and propulsive feel. At the outside, Deodora uses a wear resistant rubber compound across the foot, particularly to reduce wear at the heel. So in terms of fit, I've got my Deodora Gara Carbon in a UK size eight. That is my typical running shoe size. And I would say overall my experience has been very good. I would say that this shoe reminds me most of wearing something like the Asics Metaspeed Edge Paris, which I think it's you know, similar in length, which might be for some people worth looking at going half a size down in this shoe. There is quite a decent amount of space up front in the toes, and I think above the toes as well. I think this upper material just generally offers a more breathable kind of, you know, a little bit more kind of natural volume in terms of that fit. It's not as breathable, um, the upper as the Metaspeed one, but ultimately there is a lot of kind of natural room there. I think I think most people should get on with it and that kind of natural kind of you know roominess kind of kind of extends back into the midfoot I think you know, generally the midfoot lockdown I think is one of the areas where I think maybe could be improved I think maybe particularly when I felt a bit higher up in the shoe it could be you know a little bit tighter a little bit more refined there for me but generally you know the lockdown has been good for me you've got similar laces to the lacing on the meta speed as well this is kind of skinny tongue that hasn't kind of you know moved around for me in my time and yeah, generally that has worked well for me in terms of a combination. There is some um, kind of you know gentle kind of padding there in the heel collar, not too much, but enough to give you that kind of support and control and kind of you know around back at the heel. No kind of um, Achilles rub as well. It doesn't come too far up in terms of that heel collar. So yeah, generally I think it's been good for me. I would like to see some slight tweaks. I think at the midfoot of this shoe, I think we're just you know, elevate it in terms of overall fit, but there's a natural roominess to it, particularly the toes. As I said, maybe a suggestion to, you know, for people to maybe look at going half size down if you're worried about it being too roomy up front there in the toe box, but ultimately it's been absolutely fine going true to size for me. So in terms of my running time with the Deodora Gara Carbon, I have now done or ticked over 50K in this shoe. And that's come from a mixture of runs. I've done a kind of speedy kind of park run test with it. I have done a kind of track session with it. I've done some longer runs with it as well too. You know, I've used it at my kind of 10K half marathon, marathon pace. I think overall, all of the running that I've done here in the Gara Carbon, you know, it's all been positive. It's all been, you know, you know, I haven't had a bad run in this shoe. And I think when you want to run fast in the shoe, that's ultimately, you know, where you're going to get the most rewarding experience out of it. I think the first thing for me is that it is at a very nice weight. You know, it isn't the lightest kind of racing shoe in this category, but it is still at a very good weight and does weigh pretty light. And that's testament to you know, what you're getting in terms of that, you know, upper material, the midsole, you know, there's not a huge amount of rubber in the outsole as well. I think as a combination, it feels like a very good weight in terms of those, you know, you know, racing shoes compared to other racing shoes. It just isn't the lightest one that you can get currently. But I think in terms of that ride is what really stood out for me. I think, you know, when everything comes together, it does just work for me. I think, you know, it definitely feels very similar to my experience of running in the kind of Asics Meta Speed shoes. I think you're getting something that, you know, it's bouncy, it is, it has a, you know, some aggressiveness there, there's that propulsion there, you know, all those kind of qualities you want in a racing shoe, and that's always been there for me. I think the biggest compliment I can give is when I've run longer in this shoe, you know, I've had plans to go out and cruise, and I've looked down and I've been running kind of at my kind of marathon pace, and that's kind of not been the intention. I think, you know, that's, I think, what I've really kind of appreciated for my time in the Gara Carbon. When you are going out and you are just kind of hitting your stride in this shoe, you can, you know, it just 
you don't realize you're running quicker or you know at your quicker paces in the shoe and i think that's a you know a big plus for me in terms of my experience i think when i did that park run test you know it didn't fill out a place those shorter distances as well going all out 5k you know it felt good it felt snappy responsive you know there's enough kind of softness in that um kind of foam i think to give you a little bit of comfort there as well too but ultimately you know it's about kind of really kind of turn your feet very quickly over I think there's a few little things I think maybe could be tweaked to kind of push things a little bit more with the Gara Carbon. I think, you know, in terms of that ride, I'd like to see it get a bit more aggressive. And I think, you know, the combination of the midsole and what, what's happening here does generally work very, very well. But I think, you know, if I would tweak things, I think that's probably, you know, trying to look to see if you can get a little bit more aggressiveness out of it. I think the reason, you know, probably not getting that there is that you're getting that very good ride, but you're getting it from a very controlled base. You know, it's a pretty stable racing shoe. I never felt like it was, you know, even when I was tiring that it was, you know, it was losing stability you know, in the shoe. And so again, that's another quality similar to the Met Speed range. I think, you know, you know, the, the silhouettes and the profile of these shoes feel very similar. And I think when you do ease off in this shoe, it doesn't feel too awkward to do that. But ultimately, it is really going to reward you when you are running your quickest. Ultimately, and that's when I've had the most positive experience. Now, in terms of durability, as I said, I've done over 50K in this. I've done one of my runs has just been, I think, in a tread on a treadmill. The rest has been outdoors or on a track. I think ultimately... I do think this is a shoe that you are going to save for race day. You are going to save it for, um, you know, when you are training at your race pace. Now, I'm a hill striker. I am starting to see a little bit, just a little bit of wear on the outer of the um, kind of outsole where there's less rubber. Obviously, there's more exposed uh, rubber um, or exposed foam here, sorry, um, areas of the outsole. There's not a huge amount of rubber. It's mainly kind of focused at the forefoot. Um, other thing that I, say, I would say that kind of, you know, minor thing, but did or a logo here you're getting i'm getting a couple of little stones kind of locked in to there so maybe they just kind of need to fill those gaps in a little bit but ultimately you know the you know sticking to pavements and roads it's been absolutely fine i think if you do that you're going to get a good level of performance out of it i haven't had any issues in terms of kind of gripping and traction i've been generally using it in dry conditions and it has been fine but i think ultimately the outsole tells me that this is one you are going to want to save for your kind of very kind of focused faster sessions in your kind of race day and i do think it can work for both but i think ultimately i would probably be saving it for those very specific sessions so yeah overall a very good experience in the didora gara carbon it's a nicely weighted shoe i think the ride is you know you know bouncy lively propulsive all the kind of qualities that we've seen from other racing shoes but ultimately it does it in a very controlled way and i think gives you enough there to work at shorter distances but also feel comfortable to run at longer distances which is really what i wanted to see in my time with it and it definitely has impressed over that distance as well So my verdict on the Deodora Gara Carbon is that this is a very polished first effort from Deodora in terms of, you know, entering that very competitive kind of carbon racing shoe space. And I don't feel like this shoe feels out of place being mentioned alongside those kind of more established kind of top tier shoes that we've tested this year, I think ultimately, you know, it ticks all the key boxes you want from a shoe where you are using for racing. And if you're kind of faster sessions, it is nice and light. I think in terms of the experience you get from the midsole and that overall ride, it is bouncy, you know, it's propulsive. The energy return feels good over longer runs as well too. And I do think this is a, a shoe you're gonna enjoy running shorter distances in and also going longer in it as well and not losing that overall good experience that I've kind of felt across all of my runs. I think the problem Deodora has here is that you're paying a premium for the Gara Carbon. It is more expensive than most other kind of carbon racing shoes. Particularly, I think it's worth, you know, kind of comparing to the Metaspeed Sky Paris and the Edge Paris, which I think the experience of running in this shoe feels closest to my experience running in those two shoes. Those two shoes are lighter, they are cheaper, I think they give similar qualities to the Dior Gara Carbon, maybe slightly better fit overall and a slightly better upper, but you know, only you know minor things uh, between those kind of fits. Um, and yeah, a lot of the same qualities to make those shoes work so well over shorter and longer distances and be kind of great marathon shoes as well. So I think that's ultimately a problem with the Dior Gara Carbon. I'd have no problems grabbing this shoe for shorter races and I, you know, I think it can handle going longer as well too. But I think when you look at maybe looking for your, you know, a carbon rated shoe that sits at that kind of premium end, I think it doesn't make a lot of sense to go for this shoe over the um, other shoes that are out there, particularly, as, as I said, the Asics Met Speed um, kind of Paris range. Um, I think yeah, there's a few little things that Deodora could do here, I think, to make it kind of sit a little bit better with those shoes and make it feel worth 
that you know that extra kind of spend i think you know if it could get lighter and closer to that weight of the asic shoes i think some slight tweaks to the upper and the overall fit i think you know it's not far off to being where it needs to be but i think some little things there could improve the thing you know kind of experience and then also, I think in terms of the midsole, a lot of what he's done in the midsole is very good already. I think maybe if it was slightly more aggressive for me, I think that would be a step in the right direction for the Garo Carbon. And if it, you know, Dido pursues with this line, which I hopefully, you know, hope it, it will do, maybe bring it down in closer, you know, pricing to the other kind of racing shoes that are out there. But yeah, overall, a really good experience with the Garo Carbon. Very surprised by what I've seen in this shoe. I've enjoyed every run that I've done in it. Never felt, you know, like it's been a chore to go out running it in this shoe. I think it is a shoe that is built for racing, built for your faster sessions, can work across both those. But I think ultimately this is gonna be a shoe that you use for race day and ultimately for your kind of sessions that are at race pace ultimately. So yeah, very good um, first carbon racing shoe from Dido Agara Carbon. This price though ultimately means that you're probably going to want to go for another shoe a little bit cheaper, which is probably going to give you a lot of the same experience for a little bit less money. Okay, so there you have it. That is our take on the Diodora Gara Carbon. Now, if you've got any questions about this shoe or other shoes you want to see it compared to, do let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos. And yeah, we'll see you for the next Run Testers video.